Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and I am up today with AKS Craft Project Share and all wonderful things AliExpress. Right so two projects today one I'm going to put together at the end and that is the larger in the set of the envelope dies that also comes with an envelope liner and all these lovely pieces and i will be back with more from this set on monday so we're going to do that one at the end but when i showed the haul uh, i actually pointed out this bathtub which can be a shaker now ks craft has already done it as a shaker so i've just done it ordinary to use as a card and when i mentioned you know bathing critters and stuff like that somebody said to me well how are you going to do that so that's what i've done and what i did was i used the easter bunny because you know me i like to be able to get many uses out of many things and you know just because it's easter doesn't mean it can't be something else so i didn't use the back piece which is the whole body which means i can use that again next week all i used was the head right so i'm just going to move these out of the way and i will show you what i did and here she is <laughs> look at that oh she's having a bubble bath bless her and instead of doing the shaker section i used that area to print off a sentiment and placed it within that aperture and cut and then placed it back inside of that aperture now the cardstock that i'm using today that lovely gold um water drop background is called holiday inn and it's from creative path if they've still got that i will link it below because that's aliexpress and also these two lovely gold embellishment pieces are also in that set albeit a separate pack but it's all part of the holiday in set so anyway back to ks craft and that bunny just absolutely wonderful and she does have a delightful spa face i think wonderful expression cute eyes and of course with a body with an egg you know springtime and easter but why not have a bubble bath that's what i say and um ks craft has used all her clear gems on her bubbles and i have got some of those but i decided to use the ones that come with it and i think they look really cute and i double layered the bubble layer so that the head was between the bubbles because you know you, you've got to be in the bath and there are the gorgeous little taps they are so sweet and also i'll show you my nails they're a terrible terrible mess i'm telling you i have been digging holes in the garden i've been planting fruit trees i've been putting down tons of bark chippings or mulch as you like to call it and i'm just destroying my hands at the moment so just ignore them so there we have beautiful beautiful little bubbles You've got the lovely edging that you can put on and the claw feet. You don't have to use the claw feet because the bath actually comes with little feet on it. But those little claw feet, I think, just add a touch of glamour. Absolutely love it. And now that I've made it, I'm, I'm going to stretch across the table and find my ruler. Yes, here we go. <laughs> so... I'm just making sure that I'm not bashing into anything here and that is four inches long I'm only doing the bathtub because the bunny is not part of it I'm gonna say two and a quarter and then if you double layer up your bubbles there you're gonna be at two and seven eighths of an inch but isn't she cute that finished card is five and a quarter by five and a quarter right so there's my little spa faced honey bunny which can be used for birthday right next up somebody asked to see the envelope so i've cut the largest one and i use the embossing piece that comes with it and just run it through with happy mail so that is what it looks like before you put it together now they come with liners so i cut this piece of cardstock here which is another piece 
of creative path and i can't actually remember which pack that comes from so i'll have to look for it but you know it's very glamorous it might even be the holiday inn because i'm looking at that and i'm looking at that and it's very similar isn't it so it's a high chance it's holiday in but i will find that and link it if it's available so anyway you cut that out and this is the back of your envelope now one thing i want to show you this is really important i'm going to see how close i can go because i need to be able to show you something there it is can you see that emboss line you've got two stitch lines and then you've got the emboss line you must fold on the emboss line not the stitch line if you fold on the stitch line it's not going to close properly so make sure you fold on the straight line and not the stitched line right so i'm going to flip it over i've already put some tape onto the back of this so i'm going to get that off whoops I hope everyone's going to have a fabulous weekend. I don't know what you're going to be up to. I know that there's all sorts of storms and things coming through. And uh, we've got thunder and lightning later on today. So who knows? It will be adventurous. Now, I'm trying to look at the scale of this. And I want it to be straight. And I want it to be within my stitching so let me turn it this way because i can't see because you know the camera is uh is right there in my face right i'm hoping that's straight and i've stuck it down anyway and it probably isn't look at that i'm way out there but i've already stuck it down but that is what you do except you're going to do yours nice and straight and then all you have to do is go along and as i said not the um stitch line which is where it's going to naturally want to bend you've got to go and you've got to get that score line now i'm using quite a lightweight cardstock today which isn't always the best thing but just find that line and then get your bone folder and go along it I'm going to pull that straight and I believe I've got that and then we're going to do the next one I need to find that one sorry I'm going quiet that's concentration for you and then I'm going to go along there. You start to see how pretty that is because, you know, had I put it down straight, um, it would look lovely. But I am going to be making more of these over the weekend. So I will do them properly and show you because I want to finish off the, um, the album that we did yesterday. So I'm just trying to pull down on that emboss line. And as I say, you know, I can't see anything. I'm just kind of feeling for the bend if there is such a thing. And I think I've done that. So we'll go down there. Now, as you can see, this is not the best cardstock in the world. This is actually um, Park Lane shimmer paper and it has a white core. So it's never, you know, truly fabulous when you're using it to score anything. But then you're going to put tape or you're going to put glue. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little dibble of uh, glue. I'm going to go along this edge here. You only need to do those two little edges. But these are so cute. I mean, you could do anything with them. Right, I'm just going to hold that and I'll be right back right so there it is and as i said you know i just didn't glue that in straight but you can see just how pretty that whole thing is going to be when, when it's done properly and like i said i will come back up on monday with proper ones but somebody wanted to see this and i'm going to stick my bone folder in there and as you can see i haven't glued it all down to uh 
its lovely envelope liner so now you can pop stuff into there so the finish size on this envelope is let's have a look that's three inches and then we've got to go up to the score line for it closing and that is I'm going to say two and one eighth of an inch that's how big the largest one of the envelopes is but I'll be back on Monday with more right now then I'm all blurred so I'm trying to clear my camera because the dark clouds are going over already look at that absolutely appalling image that is I can't leave you like that there that's a bit better goodness me right I thank you so much for joining me today truly do have an absolutely awesome weekend and as usual all links below bye